Moving on now, Australia has set an ambitious target for itself. It wants its red meat industry to become completely carbon neutral by the year 2030. So how are the Australian farmers planning to accomplish this target? Our next report will get you all the details. This sprawling cattle farm in Tasmania is the brainchild of Sam and Stephanie Crethaway. The couple gave up their settled life in Melbourne to fulfill their dream of producing climate-friendly beef. And to do this, they've planted 25 different varieties of plants in their cattle paddocks. Nearly 14 of all greenhouse gases enter into the atmosphere as a result of livestock rearing. So this is a big issue in the fight against climate change. And when you look at the uh, enormous task that we have to, to try and curb climate change as a global civilization, carbon neutral is not going to be good enough. Um, we've got to be net positive. We've got to be going that extra mile. To go the extra mile, the couple have registered their cattle farm with the Australian government's emissions reduction fund. And so far have also managed to earn almost 15,000 Australian dollars in terms of carbon credits. Climate friendly beef product and also climate friendly product across the board in the, in the meat industry is going to become really important. Sam and Stephanie are also using methane inhibitors to reduce the amount of greenhouse gases released by their livestock. Customers across Australia are now more aware of climate change and have started to demand beef that has been produced at such carbon positive cattle farms. There is still a long way to go, but Sam and Stephanie believe they have made the right start in making beef more appetizing for the climate-friendly beef eaters. Bureau Report, we on. World is one. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.